Welcome to the channel everyone. This is the first video of OX3 Security. In this video, I'm going to go over how I accomplished on obtaining the OSCP certification this past June with the new AD set exam. And in this video, I'm going to be going over on what I would have done better in order to study more efficiently. Stay tuned. So, first off, I'm not going to go through the OFSEC website or PDF. Uh, everyone's seen that a million times. I'm just pretty much going to cover on what I've done and what I would have done better or changed. Um, so, obviously, number one, I've been doing this since I was a kid. Eat clean, hydrate, get a good sleep. I mean, it's common sense, right? Don't eat like shit. Hydrate, make sure you got a lot of fluid in your body, electrolytes, all that stuff. Get good sleep. And then towards your exam, depending on when your exam, adjust your sleep, your sleep schedule. Uh, make sure you get at least six to seven hours of sleep. I don't need eight. I think that's a little overrated. Um, I say adjust your sleep schedule just because some people are going to start their exam at midnight. I started mine at 4 p.m. CST. Doesn't bother me. I'm used to working global hours, so you know that's not an issue for me. But some people it is. Some people probably have never done that, um, and it does take a toll on your body uh, if you're not used to it. Uh, I've known from experience when I first started doing that. So adjust that, or and or plan your exam accordingly. Number two, well, from this one on the second piece of this is build your body to handle stress. I don't care what anyone says. You need to handle stress. Uh, God forbid you have a bad day on this exam and you're 30 points short or 40 points short with the AD set. Get your body to build and handle stress. Um, I don't know how else to say it. Anyone who, who says otherwise, they're full of shit. Um, I wouldn't take them serious in my opinion. That's just me. I'm old school. Number two, enumeration is key. This by far is key for pretty much all these exams, PNPT, OFSEC, etc. right? Even the job itself. If your enumeration isn't on point, your 90% chance, probably even more, are going to fail. Make sure you enumerate everything. Don't get caught up into rabbit holes. Enumerate, enumerate, enumerate. I can't say it enough. Third, this one's might be a question mark for some people, but for me... In my opinion, don't waste time on the labs. 90, 95% of them didn't even really touch on the OSCP itself. Um, they were just a bunch of crazy challenges that wasted time. And I'll touch on number four with, or number five with this. Uh, I would go back. I didn't go in with the 10 points. I did three of the actual challenge, um, challenge labs, I think they were called. The... OSCP A, B, and C. I forgot the term that they used. But anyway, I did three of those. I didn't do the first three because um, they were mimic pretty much the OSCP exam. Uh, but for me, I would have done Hack the Box Academy, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But don't waste time on the labs, in my opinion. Um, if anything, the OSA, I believe they were called, those live um videos or instructionals that they did i think they also did them on discord and possibly twitch if i remember correctly those are more in line with the actual oscp <laughs> training itself um especially the ad ones um, but still the actual labs in my opinion they're just a waste of time um i, I did, again i didn't go on with the 10 points so i pretty much did the ad and then got 30 points after that and called it a day uh, Metasploit module equals manual exploit available. Don't be lazy. Search. Uh, I didn't use Metasploit. I, you're given one shot to use it. If a Metasploit module is out there, the manual exploit's out there as well. There's going to be multiple of them on GitHub, um, exploit DB, whatever. They're going to be out there. Search. Don't be lazy. Learn how to search for these. Uh, during your, you know, while you're studying your prep for this exam, they are going to be there. They are there. Um, so try not to use Metasploit. I know it's probably not realistic. And some of these labs, some of these challenge exams after the labs, have you use Metasploit? You got to use them. 
<laughs> which doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, always go for the manual exploit. Always learn how to do things manual, in my opinion, because if the tool fails or something's not there or you don't have it, learn how to do it manually. Um, in my opinion, you're never going to lose that way. Uh, number five, whew, do boxes, learn AD, and if you can, do Hack the Box Academy. For that deep pause is because this exam... When I got the first 90 days, the first time I did it, I think it was like 1495. Um, now I think it's a little over 1600, if I remember correctly. Um, while I did it this time, I had to pay the 30 day intervals and then also pay for the exam by itself. So it is hefty price, right? Most people, I mean, that's hard for them to even go and get additional training on top of that, which is why I'm not a fan of OFSEC. Um, but if you can, get the hack the box academy penetration tester pathway i believe it's a thousand cubes um so that's a hundred dollars uh, if i remember correctly one thousand cubes is a hundred bucks i would get this and then also they have additional um additional modules for ad uh, very beneficial in my opinion for this but again if you don't have it uh you know it sucks Again, not that you don't have the money to get it, but it sucks that stuff like this is not included in OFSEC, uh, this whole training program. Again, I'm not a fan of it. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of it, but that's what I would do differently. Also, do all the boxes that are recommended for OFSEC. I know there was the last time I looked at it, there was an updated one of December 2023, I think it was, or November 2023. Um, do all those religiously, knock out all these boxes, knock out every single AD one from proving grounds, the practice, uh, you know, from the OSSEC platforms, do those nonstop, get the muscle memory, get the repetition. You're not going to go wrong with that. Um, and also when you do these boxes, don't just do them to say you've done them actually do them and if you need to watch a video to learn your first couple of them no harm no foul that's how you're going to learn right see how people get their methodology see how they how they think outside the box see what makes them to think to look at certain things differently than you would but also what i mean by this is take good notes as if you're doing it you're doing your oscp your notes are going to be key because sometimes you're going to catch stuff that you might need later and you're going to refer back to those notes so take good notes when you do these practice boxes. Um, and again, take these notes like if that's going to be your actual uh, OSCP exam. Screenshots, thorough enumeration, uh, you know, explanation, etc. The whole nine. Mimic it like it's your OSCP. And again, touching on that, attention to detail for your report is a must. I will say this. Their report is a little more tedious towards the end um you pretty much got to format it and it has to be a certain size maximum uh, if not you're on either or you're gonna pat you're gonna fail so they're gonna send you an email make sure you pay attention to detail for that and also make sure you get all your screenshots while you're doing your exam and then go back in plug and play for the report and hammer what you need to hammer out uh you know for whatever you need to in your report Double, triple, quadruple, check it. Um, I can't go over that enough. Your report is key. Uh, I took the PMPT uh, this week after 4th of July. Uh, today's July 28th, and my report was ass. It was horrible. And I did miss something, which was persistence in the screenshot. And I was just, it was horrible, completely opposite than the OSCP report. Um, so I did it the next week. Knocked it out the following week. Um, so report is a, your re report is key pretty much for all these exams going forward is pretty much what I'm trying to say. So make sure you always pay attention and always are on point with your report. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Please like, share, subscribe, mm -hmm. comment. Um, let me know what else you guys would do differently uh, for the OSCP. Um, next, my next exam that I will be taking is the P. PJWT with the Hack the Box Bug Bounty. 
I'm planning on getting those before the end of August. Uh, Mid-September, I am taking the OSWE. And then December time frame, I am taking the OSEP. And I'm going to try to fit in the CRTO. I'm not doing this for certs, uh, to collect certs. I'm actually doing these to learn. Um, and also, you know, the CRTO, uh, we're going to start happening back down onto uh, Cobalt Strike. So I got to get back into that and finally knock that exam out. I was going to take it last year, but we were in another incident. Um, so that's for the reason, uh, you know, I didn't take the exam. I still kind of remember just going over my notes that I had. Um, but anyway, that's my plan of attack. Uh, also going to try on the side too to finish Zephyr. Uh, completed Dante, Rasta Labs. So I'm going to do Zephyr next. Um, we'll be at DEF CON, Black Hat. Looking forward to that in a couple, uh, actually ne next week. Um, so yeah, looking for a good time. Going to do some videos on there. Also going to release some videos on my experience in the tech industry. Um, why it's a love-hate relationship. Going to do a video on the PNPT, Dante, Rasta Labs, and also some of the other stuff. Going to do some, probably some videos on tools in Cali that people really don't touch on. Um, and then also um, some video reviews, uh, some for comedy, some for fun, and some that some people in certain industries need to learn uh, from and take notes. Um, so looking forward to this and uh, growing on this channel.